It's Tuesday trend day again, and I got 10 more Redbubble trends for you. These are some really good ones. You don't want to miss this. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you'd like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in this video, like all the Tuesday trend videos, I'm gonna share with you 10 Redbubble trends. So I have 10 special trends this week because all of these trends are trends that you can use graphics with. So either a cat or a dog or you know those kinds of things, they do really well with some kind of graphic and I pick them because graphics do really well to help you stand out from the crowd. So you're gonna wanna stay till the end for this one so that you can see all these different trends and all the graphics that you can use with them as well as another edition of trend credits. So let's get into it. So here's the first trend, hockey and tacos. I already have it on the best selling so you can see this is your competition right here. So just a mashup of hockey and tacos. There's lots of different ways to do that. Take a look at what is already here on Redbubble and do not copy this, but get inspired on what you can do better and how you can make yours better. So hockey and tacos only have 238 results, so very low competition. And there's these other tags here, so don't forget about putting these tags when you make your design. So here's the idea board I made for hockey and tacos. Of course, the graphics for these are tacos and hockey players. The main niche is hockeys or tacos. The audience for this are people who love both hockey and tacos. And other ideas you could do with this if you're drawing already or if you have graphics for hockey and tacos, you can say hockey and something else or something else and tacos, right? You already have those graphics or maybe taco as a mascot. So here's what I'm thinking. You could use graphics of tacos like this. You know, it could either be look like a taco or a cartoon of a taco or do like the taco holding a hockey stick, like a mascot. Here are some other ways you can do hockey stuff. You know, just look for other designs with hockey. Have fun with this one, hockey and tacos. This is your trend number one. So trend number two is cat versus tiger. You can see right here, cat versus tiger only has 180 results. And here's another tag, roaring kitty. We're gonna see that later. Here are the best selling things. So look at that, of course, a cat and a tiger, the obvious graphics here. Here's your competition. So if you think you can make something better than this, of course, go for this trend. So here's the idea board I made for you. Uh, of course, the main niche is cat and tiger and the audience are cat and tiger lovers. Other ideas you could do once you have a cat or a tiger, you could do cat sayings, t-shirts or stickers, tiger sayings, there's lots of those as well or versus anything. So a cat versus a dog or a tiger versus a elephant or whatever like that. So you can see here, some of the graphics, of course you can use different cats, you know, cute cats or other kinds of cats or a tiger. Um, those are the obvious ones. And then I also put in here like a versus. So you can do, you know, cat on this side, tiger on this side, or you can see how these two animals are fighting. Or right here, like a versus for Mortal Kombat kind of versus where one is one on one side. This is the Karate Kid, but you could do a, you know, a cat on one side or a tiger on the other side fighting each other. So those are some ideas of how you could do graphics for cat versus tiger. Hopefully these graphics are really helpful for you. Think of different ways that you can do a cat versus a tiger. So trend number three is National Pig Day. You can see right here, it only has 154 results. And these are the best-selling National Pig Day designs on Redbubble right now. So let's take a look. So not very many. And there's a lot you can do with this one. A lot of them don't even say National Pig Day. So there's something you could add on yours. Uh, and stickers do really well for pig lovers, you know, people who love pigs and stuff. So there's that patterns as well think of that here's the idea board i came up for you for national pig day of course the main niche is pig this audience is pig lovers so those that love pigs will probably love this uh, other ideas you can do once you have the graphics for this you know other pig puns and sayings there's lots of them out there look for those or make up your own different farm animals so you already have the pig add some other farm animals to it and pigs doing different things. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So graphics, of course, you can draw your pigs in different ways. 
Uh, if it's a national day, think of different ways to do this. So here's National Popcorn Day with a picture of a popcorn. Of course, yours would be a pig. Uh, you can do kind of a thing like this in a circle with a banner, or you could do you know a graphic here with that. So so think of different ways where you can do National Pig Day like this, like they're doing here. And then also pigs doing different things. So this one's a pig eating a hamburger, eating a donut, or, you know, different things. This one's in a thing of jam. So so these can be really good stickers for people that love pigs, you know. So this is your trend number three, National Pig Day. So trend number four is black and white plant artwork. It only has 166 results. These are the best selling. You can see a lot of people are doing prints for them, uh, books, a lot of different ways to do this one. It's not just stickers and t-shirts. Think of other things like prints, uh, patterns here do really well. Just really cool stuff. So it is black and white plant designs, lots of different takes on this one. You can see all these patterns and stuff. Makes great acrylic blocks too. Um, not so much t-shirts, but it does work on a t-shirt. So you can see there's lots of different ways. Duvet covers would do really well. So think of different ways you can do black and white art. You can do white on black or black on white. So here's the idea board I made you for this one. Black and white plant artwork. Of course, people who love plants, that's the niche, uh, plant lovers. Other things you could do once you have a black and white plant, you could add some color. So make colorful plants or you could add it to, you know, plant pun sayings or plant pattern. So here's some black and white inspiration here. So drawing a plant by itself or hanging or leaves, that kind of thing. Here's some color ideas, you know, cactus and stuff. These could also be black and white, but just showing you what it could be in color and patterns. We saw a lot of those patterns on red bubble. So think of different ways you can do patterns in black and white or in color. Uh, of course, if you're doing it in black and white, you can use this tag if you're doing it in color. Doesn't make much sense to do it with this tag, but you can use an, uh, you know, another, you could do color plant artwork, which isn't trending, but uh, a lot of people love plants. So black and white plant artwork is your trend number four. So for trend number five, I have zebra fish. This one's trending. It only has 132 results. So very low competition. You can see uh, this is the best selling t-shirts. There's different things, books, masks, all kinds of things. Stickers would do really well, I think, for fish. So look at that, uh, pillows. Love these prints. That's a scorpion fish, not a zebra fish. But anyway, you can see uh, you could do a zebra fish. Let's see. Yeah, really cool designs. And of course, zebra in the water, like a zebra fish. That's, that's kind of cool. So, so here's the artboard for zebra fish here. The main niche is fish. And of course, the audience are zebra fish lovers. Uh, once you have the graphic that you do, uh, think of different fish puns or sayings. You could add that to it. Other fish, you could add other fish to the zebra fish. Uh, and you could do a mashup of animals. It made me think of a zebra and a fish. You could do a fish with a zebra head for zebra fish. I didn't see any of those. That, that might be fun. So here's some graphics. Uh, these are zebra fish. You can see different ways to color them or, or draw them. And these are zebras. Of course, you could do... Uh, zebras with a tail or a fin or maybe a mermaid zebra that would be a cool zebra fish and here's some other tropical fish that go along with the zebra fish you can see here uh, and this fish has like zebra stripes on it so that's one way you could do it instead of doing the actual zebra fish you could do a, a fish with zebra stripes that might be a cool thing too so think of different ways you can make yours different and stand out that's kind of the name of the game on Redbubble and Hopefully you get some sales doing that. This is your trend number five, zebra. F so for trend number six, I have roaring kitty. Remember seeing that with cat versus tiger. So of course, if you're doing a cat versus tiger, you could also tag it roaring kitty if you have them roaring. Only 129 results. Of course, uh, if your cat is roaring, you can tag it this roaring kitty. And basically it is a cat with its mouth open, sometimes with the word roar, or sometimes it's just a cat with the mouth open. You can see here, this one is perfect, uh, kind of funny one right here, but you can do meow or anytime, maybe even a tiger with its mouth open. So not a lot of competition here. So here's the idea board for Roaring Kitty. Of course, the main niche is cat and cat lovers would love this. 
Other things you could do is other roaring animals, you know, cat puns and sayings once you have the cat, or a kitty doing other stuff, just like I showed in the other one. Uh, here's some other roaring kitties to get you some ideas of what you could do. Here's some cat drawings of ways you could draw the cat in different ways. And here's cats doing different things. So uh, maybe eating a fish or spaghetti or ramen or different things. So think of roaring kitty in different ways. Um, once you have the roaring kitty, maybe you can do it with different phrases or different things that the that cat is doing. So this is your trend number six, roaring kitty. So here's your trend number seven, horse to meet you. Only 116 results. You can see the other tags you can use when designing for this. So let's take a look at the competition. Lots of different ways to do this. You don't actually have to say horse to meet you, but it helps. So lots of different ways you can draw the horse. You know, you can do it in a cartoon style or just a nice illustrative style. So here's the idea board I made for you for this trend to get the brainstorm going. Uh, main niche, of course, is horse and those who love horse humor or just humor in general, horse to meet you kind of sounds like a pun. Uh, so think of other horse puns, uh, maybe just a girl who loves horses. Once you have the horse, you could do that or horses in a circle. And so let me show you what I mean by that. So like this right here, this graphic you can see a horse inside of this circle. We talked about that kind of thing or maybe in a horseshoe or you can see other shapes right here. You could put a horse in. I think that would do really well to kind of um, put it in a shape. But other ways you can draw a horse, right? Illustrated horse or the sweat lines or maybe a silhouette of a horse or maybe some cute horses. Other ways to draw horses and use that horse to meet you phrase on it. Uh, think of different ways to do stickers as well. So people who love horses might want a nice horse sticker too. So uh, that would be good. So maybe even horse as a mascot. That's kind of what this is doing here. So horse to meet you. This is your trend number seven. So for trend number eight, I have I break for turtles. So only 88 results. So very low competition. Here are the best selling designs on Redbubble for this trend. I break for turtles. You can see stickers, t-shirts uh, do really well. Stickers again here. So think of different ways you can make it a sticker or a t-shirt. So those seem to be the ones that sell the most. Of course, bags as well. So here's the idea board for I break for turtles, the main niche turtles and those who love turtles is the audience. So other ideas I was thinking you could do are other turtle sayings or I break for some other animal or other thing or turtles doing different things. So there's two kinds of turtles, the land turtles, right? With the feet here, you can see, or the sea turtles, which do really well on Redbubble, by the way. So here are some different styles. You can do sea turtles and different ways that turtles can be doing something else. You know, a dabbing turtle, maybe a, a turtle eating something or on its back or think like that. So think of different ways you could make stickers or t-shirts for this phrase, I break for turtles. And it can just be a turtle too. So I break for turtles is your trend number eight. So your trend number nine here, your coffee is ready. Only 87 results, so super low competition. And here's some other tags. Don't forget about these uh, when you're doing your design. Look at the best selling, uh, coffee is ready. So this is what's selling the most on Redbubble. So lots of different coffee designs, lots of different ways you can do it. You know, just a coffee cup with words in it or just the words itself. I like using graphics that really helps. So here is the competition. Of course, this is just to look at. Do not copy these. This is just to see what's out there so that you can make yours better. So here's the idea board that I made. Of course, the main niche is coffee and the audience is coffee lovers. So other ideas you could do here. You could think of other sayings, you know, um, with coffee, not only your coffee is ready, once you have that design, put in other sayings and kind of reuse that design. Maybe mom plus coffee, those do really well, or different types of coffee. So let me show you some ideas. So you got a coffee cup or mug or this kind of coffee cup that you get, you know, like you get from Starbucks or something. So here's some other coffee ideas, you know, maybe donuts and coffee or a pitcher of coffee. And here's some ideas of how you can make text with coffee. So these are just ideas. You're going to have to come up with your own version of these, but these, 
you know, maybe put it in a circle, different types of coffee you can see here. Use these to brainstorm your own idea for this trend. Your coffee is ready, trend number nine. So the last trend, trend number 10 is big wine guy. You can see only 42 results, so super, super low competition. Here are the best selling ones. Big wine guy, just the words, or with a wine glass, of course, in the wine glass here. So lots of wine glasses and wine bottles. So think of different ways you can do yours. Big wine guy. So here's the idea board for big wine guy. The main niche, of course, is wine. So that's a huge niche. You can get a lot of traffic with that. Uh, wine lovers are the audience. So think of different ideas. I'm thinking big wine guy, big wine girl, big wine, you know, whatever, or big blank guy. So it doesn't have to be wine. It could be big beer guy or something like that, or, or different wine puns and sayings. There's lots of them out there. So here's some ideas of how you could draw or have graphics for it. You know, two wine glasses or a wine bottle in a glass or different types of wine glasses, or maybe a man holding a glass. Or if we do wine girl or wine lady, a woman holding the glass. And these are different ways you can do the text, right? Uh, in a circle or on the side of the glass kind of thing like that. So think of your own way to do this. This is just to inspire you, of course, to make your own and stand out and make yours better than the competition that's out there. So that is trend number 10, big wine guy. So here are all 10 trends in a list. This is when you can take that snapshot for your to-do list for this week. Remember, all of these now have graphics with them. They're all in very popular niches. You know, you got the hockey, the cat, the pig, plant artwork, fish, cats, again, horses, turtles, coffee is a huge one, and wine to end it off there. So think of different things that you can do for these. Stickers do really well on Redbubble, so try and think of those as well as T-shirts do fantastic. And for some of these, they might do really well on posters too, so... Have fun with all of these. Hopefully this was really helpful for you. Let me know if in the comments if you like these with lots of graphics. I think those do really well. And to kind of picture it in your mind before you build it, I think helps me anyway. So I wanted to make sure that I, I pick these. They all have graphics that you could think of and make for it. And I think that just helps with the design to make it stand out. Thanks so much for watching. And your reward for watching this whole thing is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks so much for staying to the end for this trend credits. Here is your trend, Chihuahua Mom. So you can see here lots of different ways to do Chihuahua Mom, but they're getting some low BSRs right now. So look at those different ways to do it. Chihuahua Mom. Let's check Merchant Former. It is getting an A, so you know it's good. I have a link in the description for Merchant Former. If you don't have it there, some discounts for you. Um, you know, great one to get into. Uh, and you can do other Chihuahua shirts. So best Chihuahua mom ever or other things with Chihuahuas. Just take a look. Once you have the Chihuahua, I think you can do scale this and make it for other Chihuahua puns or sayings. And, you know, if Chihuahua mom is doing well, do like Pitbull mom or, you know, Husky mom or those kind of things. So that is your trend for this video, Chihuahua mom. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If this video gave you some value, Make sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that little subscribe button right here in the bottom right corner. You can subscribe that way. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.